Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales and last week my club managed to get into the top 100 clubs. You guys did amazing, so thank you guys so much. We've just leveled up again as well, so we've now reached level 12. Now we are going to have a look at the reward that we got shortly. So for this week, as you can see, it's saying uh, 100, but we're going to quickly here look at... Uh, the level rewards. So we've unlocked the large club island and we've unlocked the shirt crest, which I will add a little bit later. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and have a look at our champion's chest in just a moment, but we're going to hop over to see our placing last week. So you can hear, see here that we got 50th overall last week. So I'm really, really proud of that. Well done, guys. And um, But before we worry about that, it's about time that we had a look at the rewards. So we have two, we have our regular chest here. So we got some apples, some gold, wood, iron, cotton, opal, stone, and some race tickets. Okay, so that's the regular chest. Now, it's time to open the champion's chest and find out what we're gonna get. So there's horses here that we might get. There's tack, there is bags and things like that. Now, as we were 50th, this is our chances. Our chances are much lower than somebody who would have been uh, first place um, last week. So we have a very small chance of getting these horses. The tack's like 2%. I'd love the tack, actually. Um, there's a decent chance of actually getting outfits, and there's a small chance of getting bags and black pearl. So I think it'd be cool to have one of those outfits, but I don't know that we'll get a horse. I really, really doubt it. Okay, here goes. Pet pack pink. I think we just got... A backpack for a pet. I think. But the signs of it. Possibly this one at the bottom. 2% chance. That's actually quite low. I didn't expect that. Right? Well, I, d I have wanted a, a pet uh, backpack for quite a while because I thought it'd be quite neat to see what it's like. Um, so I suppose that would be down uh, at the bottom here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's what that's what we got. We got a, a pink backpack. Although it doesn't really suit my uniform. I feel like I'm going to have to maybe change my top. Possibly. It looks a little bit odd, the pink with the, the uniform. Possibly, but before we like worry about that, um, let's get... Uh, I think we'll try Steve in the backpack. Let's see, can we drop you in here? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's have a look on the... In a moment, I suppose. If I bring out some of my other pets, actually, we'll do that. We'll bring a couple of these guys out with us. And uh, then see. I'm kind of wondering how the pet's going to sit. Are some pets going to look better in the backpack than others? Like Steve, I don't know if he's going to like look really small in the backpack or not. He's a deer, <laughs> so he might look a little bit small compared to like a bunny in the backpack I don't know but we'll see in a second oh my god he looks so tiny oh my god Steve he looks so small look at him <laughs> oh my gosh the only thing is I wish the backpack was a different color because it doesn't really suit this um, I'd maybe like a black backpack or a white backpack so that it would suit the uniform more but he looks really really cute in that so I think it's about time we actually go and sort out our rewards here. Now, I'm not going to worry about the large club island right now because that will take quite a long time for me to set up a new island and so forth. But I do want to sort out the shirt crest. Um, I think, where do I have that? It's not an admin, no. Uh, is it in... Maybe, if it's not in my admin, it's probably here. Yeah. There's the equip button. So um, we'll equip the crest now to the level, uh, or the shirt for level 12. So now we should be able to see that. The last one we have is a horse coat. We don't get that to like uh, club level 25, which is really, really far away. Um, I do need to change back over to my club uniform though, because uh, I changed over to the pink shirt because I thought it suited this bag better. Um, I'm hoping maybe in future I'll maybe get a darker bag possibly. I like the reward that I got from the champion chest. I would have loved a horse or an outfit but um, the only thing is the backpack is a really odd colour for my uniform in my opinion. It doesn't really work. But we'll take this off for a minute um, 
and then we'll put on the hat as well so I can see both of these together and see what this looks like. Because I can't remember if the club crest goes on the front or the back of the shirt. Uh, I don't see it on the on the back. Maybe it's on the front? Yeah, it is on the front. Okay. Now let's roll up to the wall here so we can have a closer look. So there is our club crest on our club uniform. So I think the last thing we have is the pants, obviously, and then uh, the crest on all of the horse tack as well, which I'm curious to see. But yeah, I think I think it looks reasonably good, actually, um, there, but I'm going to take it uh, back off again here. And um, just put back on the backpack and stuff so that I can still take my pets out. But yeah, I think that's the only thing, um, is the colour of the backpack. I like the fact that I can carry my pets this way, though. Alright, let me change back over from the hat to the horns. Where is it? There. Okay. Um, there doesn't seem to be any new hats. Sort of was just curious to see if there was any new hats or not, but I don't see any. Alright, we'll go back to the pink top, because I think it suits this a lot better. Oh, is that bugged? <laughs> it's, showing, it's showing my logo on top of the, <laughs> my regular clothes. But it wasn't ideally what I was looking, but I guess that's fine. So in my last video, I had shown you guys the post that Fox Adventures had put up about a future horse riding tails update. And I had asked you guys, what did you think this update was going to be? So I'm going to read out some of the comments that you guys gave me, and I'm going to maybe throw in some of my ideas as well. So the first one is from Ivy Summer. She says, I'm hoping for first person mode and hide player names. I think this is a really good one and it would be very cool to have these as just an overall feature as well as a photo mode. I feel like sometimes you want to get like a really nice picture or you just want to have a slightly different style or something going on. And I think stuff like that would be really, really neat. Um, especially like for taking pictures, high player names would be very, very useful. And I think first person mode would be interesting for taking pictures too. So Jessica V said, I think it will be new horses, more club stuff, more stable spots, create your own horse, more clothes, more levels, client stills you can tame, and the rest of the freezers you can tame besides the club ones and VIP. I think that chances are we probably will get more horses. I don't know how many more of them are going to be tameable. I know that we have seen horses that have become tameable in the past. I definitely want more stables, 100% agree with that. I think creating our own horse would be really, really cool. Probably we will get more clubs. As for more levels, I don't know if we're going to get like more regular levels, like will I be able to go like level 50 or whether it will be more club levels in the future possibly. I kind of want more levels as a player because I need more end game content. Um, I think right now the clubs, there's very few clubs, if any, that have got to the max level yet. So I think possibly I would hope to see more player levels first before I would see, uh, want to see more club levels at this stage. So the next one was from Misty Petal who said, maybe like barrel racing. Barrel racing would be really cool. Maybe we'll get some kind of Western competitions or something like that because right now the game's very much classically focused dressage, show jumping, and cross country. So maybe some western type of competitions. Considering the amount of western tack we have, we really could do with those kinds of competitions. So the next one was from Jessica who said, free horses please, lol. Um, I think it would be quite neat if we had some kind of quest where we could work up for another free horse, kind of like North. Maybe they'll give us something else like this, but maybe as a community we have to work towards it. That would be a really interesting one, that we could maybe reach a horse if the entire community worked together to reach a certain goal by a certain amount of time. Kind of like the social quests, but over a longer period of time. So Daria said, I hope game mode will have first person mode so we can switch pets or horses. If so, I'm going to borrow my BFF Smokey Dapple and let her borrow the Pegasus that she doesn't have and I'll always be in first person mode. I don't know that we'll ever get to like um, let other friends ride our horses or anything like that. Maybe that could be a feature for VIP that you could let um, a friend borrow a horse and then at any point that you can have it immediately back. It's not like a, not like a trade, more like a borrowing feature. 
maybe we might get something like that in future. And I think um, definitely first person mode would be really great for pictures and things like that. So I definitely would like that. Sky said, I think the gameplay mode update will be like Rival Stars desktop version, where it's like you can choose from story, free play, or maybe something new like breeding. I think it would be quite cool. Um, I know that in Wolf Tales, you can go in and you can play single player, co-op, and PvP, for example. And I think, I know that we kind of have those with the, like, uh, the private room, like the VIP private room, we have the public rooms, and then we have the single player rooms. But, like, I think it would be interesting if from the home screen you could do that immediately. So something like that could be quite interesting. Maybe we'll get kind of new different modes with that. Maybe we might get some kind of version of PvP where we have to battle our Pegasuses in the sky. I don't know. It could be something really out there that we weren't expecting at all. So it'd be interesting to see. The next one was from Misty Fox who said, I don't really know. Maybe Xbox. I know that... Horse Riding Tales, so Fox Adventures themselves said on Instagram, it was going to just be on mobile. I know a lot of people were wondering, oh my gosh, is it going to another platform? And I had been sitting here going, oh my god, are we getting cross-platform? But we're not. So <laughs> I know, unfortunately, this is not something that this one, this particular update's going to be. I still want cross-platform between PC and mobile. That's something that I really, really want. So Hyena said, I wonder if it's trading. Quite a few of you actually wondered, could it be trading? I don't know what kind of trading it could be. Although there has been times where I've had like extra, let's say, cotton and I'm like, I need iron. I would love to be able to do that. Like if somebody else needed like a thousand cotton and I needed a thousand iron and I could trade that with them, I would love that as a feature. I think that would be great. Red Bull Ricky said, my club and I spend a good chunk of time trying to think of what this new gameplay mode could be. Foxy said it was a social feature, which are add-ins like different chats and friend requests, but we can't really think of any social features that haven't already been added. One guess was that players would be able to make a readable profile for themselves that could include their name, nickname, number of horses, favourite horse, etc. Another idea was that the new gameplay mode would allow you to work with your friends, maybe even your club, to complete different missions or quests that would unlock rewards, and maybe sometimes storylines. Maybe the quest is to collect 550k uh, iron or tame 10 fantasy horses. Quests that could be done alone, but would be easier to complete in a small team. Though we need to wait and see, I'm just happy to see Foxy adding more content to the game. I also hope that the content Foxy added is going to be an attempt to keep older players who have finished most of the game like myself, and not another way to make players uh, pay more money to enjoy the full game. I understand that Foxy is a business, and that needs to keep the lights on somehow, but most recent updates have been some attempt to get players to spend some kind of money, and the players that have been around the longest don't really want to spend money because there's simply not much to do other than daily quests and club points. Or maybe we will finally get a username and password system, so we don't have to keep going to Foxy to fix our accounts. I think there's a lot of really good points in this, because personally, as an older player, I have been here since day one, and I want more end game content for someone that's been here this long. Um, definitely, so I really agree with that. And they do obviously have to run it like a business, so I do expect a little bit of give and take, but I do want to see a balance of features that kind of work both freely and you have your paid things as well there because I think that's important um, for the longevity of a game because I think if it goes too much one way or the other it kind of can be the nail in the coffin for a game so yeah I think it could be quite interesting to see what we get because a lot of the social features we already have as you mentioned so I'm curious to see as well I'm not really sure what to quite expect right now so Milana said, I think it's that you can have night and morning. It could be interesting if they do add the feature that's already currently on the PC version where you can have night and day in the game. I don't know that it would be class really so much as a social feature, but it could be something we could see in the future because they already have it in the PC version of the game. Lena says, Violet, I think it will be a new horse. It would be interesting to see if it was a new horse, as I mentioned earlier. I think it would be really cool if it was a horse that we all collectively had to work towards getting in a huge community quest that would take several weeks. I think that would be really cool and quite fun. Angel Fox said, I'm wondering if it's an add-on to the level 40 plus levels. We rallied for it in our campaign for us poor guys who've been waiting so long with the social bit. A lot of us filled the questionnaire in a few weeks ago about what we would like to see. One of the questions that came up was asking if we would like to see levels that incorporated your friends in it. So it could be that we're going to get something that is going to require the whole community to work on rather than just a club or an individual person and i think that could be quite a cool mechanic 
Logan said, I think that maybe they'll add a jumping feature for non-VIP. I don't know if they will do that. I feel like they need to sort of keep the value in the VIP feature, probably for most people. So I don't know if this is something that they'll go um, along in terms of doing, but who knows? So Lionel said, I think the update will be new pets, horses, maybe more area to explore, more levels, and maybe some updates for clothing and islands. I really cannot wait to see it. I've been looking forward to a new update for a long time. I think it'd be really cool if we did get more areas. Like I know a lot of new pets and horses and all that would be cool, but um, especially more levels as well. Um, but yeah, new area would be a really, really cool one. Maybe we have to work together to, I don't know, collect resources or lock a new area or something like that as a community. Something like that would be quite neat and quite interesting. So Kenzie said, what I think some of the updates will be, trading and looting horses, more clothes, um, you can have more accounts on one account. I'm assuming you mean on more than one device. And then more stables, you don't have to be a certain level to play stables. I think trading or loaning horses would be interesting if I could, let's say I had to collect 10 unicorns, you know, the ones that are capturable, and then somebody who had an undead light still was like, yeah, I'll swap my undead light still for 10 unicorns. Um, I don't know, maybe they're going to sell them and make for gold or something like that. That would be interesting if we could do that. Um, because I think it would be a way to give different horses a value. Like, let's say there was an undead uh, Clyde still in the market and people were able to trade so many unicorns or something like for, I don't know, something like that would be kind of interesting um, because I would go and collect every unicorn I could find <laughs> to trade for a lot. Uh, more clothes, I think, are probably pretty sure we're definitely going to get more of those. Um, I think it'd be interesting if there was maybe something more with the account thing. Um, I feel like some feature making it easier to log into our account would be good. Um, more stables. You don't have to be a certain level to play stables. I agree. We need more stables. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Need more. There's too many horses in the game. Not enough stables. So my cart 75 said, I hope the update will be you'll be able to find pets in the wild, just like taming horses, but you need a lot of extra orbs to get one. This would be quite cool, actually, if you could randomly sometimes find a pet roaming around that you could tame. Maybe you would find it, but you'd have to do a lot of different tasks to tame that pet. That would be quite an interesting and cool thing. So the next one was from Hufflepuff, who said, I have an idea for new levels in Norse Fine Tales. I don't know what the storyline would be, but the quest could be for bareback riding because it's really hard. That is quite a neat idea, actually. I think that it would be interesting if they did incorporate other kind of disciplines, kind of like what we mentioned earlier about Western. Bareback could be another way they could go with that. There's definitely different things here. There's loads of other kinds of disciplines that they could incorporate into the game going forward. And I think probably for the game just generally, it would be good to do that. So the last comment was from Yabina, ha, huh? and they said, what do you think gameplay mode in Horse Shine Tales would be like and how the gameplay mode would look like in Horse Shine Tales? I think this is a really good question, actually, and I think the one thing that keeps sort of popping up for me is the fact that chances are it's some kind of new mode of play. Whether that could be something like uh, player versus player, you know, some kind of PvP battle of some point, kind of like what they have with Wolf Tales. Um, that could be a possibility. I also think there's a possibility it could be like community led in terms of like social quests that go on over a very long period of time. Let's say the first month and um, we can win a pet if the entire community gets to a million points. Maybe the month after it is an outfit if we get to 2 million points. Maybe after 3 months, if we get to 3 million points, it's a horse. Um, I think there's a couple of possibilities there. I feel like there's a lot of different ways they could go with that, and I think they could keep adding on to it. So that could be one of them. Um, how it might look, I would say I would consider if they did something like that, it would be similar to like the way clubs run, but it would work across the whole community and the way social quests do. So I feel like we would probably get another tab for it with all the information and stuff like that, what we need to do, how we can earn points and things like that. I think if that's the way they go with it. I don't know if they will, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you have any further thoughts on what you think the update could be, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, girls, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you said a lovely day and bye guys.